address, and <coughs> we are feeding a corrosion inhibitor, and it is addressed in your CCR. It's called zinc orthophosphate, and we're feeding a corrosion inhibitor. Your house was built sometime in the late 80s, I'm taking it to be in the age. If you'll check, there was a lot of copper that was imported from Japan, if I'm not mistaken, that was a substandard copper. It was a cheap copper, and there was a history, a violent history of pinholes in copper. The city of Farrell started a corrosion inhibitor program in the late 80s because of seeing those things. They were feeding the zinc orthophosphate because in the zinc ortho you have a cation and anode ion, so you have dissimilars, opposites track, it stops the corrosion process, stops the cathodic protection. The other things that Scott made a point, and it has happened to us, is people are bad about grounding their electrical systems to the water pipes because you have one heck of a ground when you have metal pipes. Our operators have actually been shocked changing out water meters because they were having a grounding system in there. The other problem that he addressed is if they didn't sleeve that copper when that uh, cement touched it, it's very, uh, it's a base, and it, it has a very high pH range on the outside, and it starts <coughs> the de de degradation of the copper at that point. Your house kind of fell into, it sounds like it fell into that category, and immediately, the degradation started immediately, day one, when it was put in. Um, currently, as you say, you're using a PEX, in the roof. I had my house built, that's exactly what it did, and went through the roof with it, and, and the ceilings now how they run. Um, same thing I thought too when I said if it breaks, it's going to you know, wet the whole ceiling, but better that than in the slab at this point. But we are feeding a chemical, and the, the, the name of the company is Thor, uh, Thornton Uso Bellum out of uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is the company that we are using currently. And we have been feeding that chemical uh, for well over 20 years. We've been feeding that chemical and keeping it. And we monitor our corrosion rates every 90 days. We have a corrosion rack set out through our whole entire system. And we have sampled uh, little uh, metal, what we call them coupons, that are copper, lead, and mild steel. And there's a corrosion rate based on, on that after that 90 days that we looked at. And there's a category it falls into. And we are keeping it as absolutely low as we can possibly keep. 